hello and good morning Frankfurt hot dogs. It's really quite nice to be back in this comfy little chair. Well anyways, make sure to stay tuned for your latest updates in yearbook action, reminds regarding AP testing, and something about a crash. Anyways, the news starts right now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, just in case you guys have forgotten me since my last time on here, I'm Nolan. And it's still me, Liz. And for lunch today on lines one and two, we'll, have be we'll be having beef nachos, line three, soup and salad bar with potato soup, line four, baked mozzarella cheese sticks, and pull apart pizza, and line five is closed. And now over to sports with my best friend forever, according to who's who, Nick. Thanks, Nolan. The girls' track team finished third in the Sagamore Conference Championship meet, while the boys finished eighth. The girls had lots of scoring in a wide range of events to improve their team standing from last year. The top performers include Salih, Alanis, Valdez, and Espedio, who got second place in the 4x800. Nayeli Alanis gained first 100 meter hurdles and second in the 300 meter low hurdles. Blazer Salih gained third in the 3200, and Kenny Garcia gained third in the discus. This was the first time since, 20, since 2013 that the girls' track team finished in the top three of the conference. The boys' team. The boys' team's top finishers include Higo Hernandez, who got second in the 3200 and fourth in the 1600, Evan Jordan, who placed fourth in the 200, and Kyle Earl, who finished fourth in the discus. The girls' sectional meet will be taking place tomorrow, with the boys competing on Thursday. The Crawfordsville invite took place on Saturday, with the varsity golf team taking sixth place out of, 12, out of the 12-team field. Sasha Perch led the dogs with an A2 followed by Drew Grismer and Reese Mitchell's 94, Camden Caesars 99, and Sam Wilson's 110. The team's next match will be on Thursday as they will be taking on West Lafayette and McCutcheon in a three-way match on Thursday and participate in the conference tournament on Saturday. On Friday, the girls varsity tennis team hosted Northwestern. The team ended up losing by a score of 4-1, to one, with the doubles team of Jalen Kidwell and Rebecca Perez being the lone winners. On Saturday morning, the dogs bounced back for the Hot Dog Invitational. The team defeated Carroll in the, in the consolation round by a score of 4-1. to one. With the rain pouring down, the invite had to be canceled and the dogs tied for a share of first place. The record is now 17-5 and they will be facing McCutcheon tonight. That's it for sports. Back on over to you, Nolan. Make sure to return over to Library Books ASAP. Students will have access to the JLG Digital Collection over the summer. Mrs. Willoughby can answer any questions about overdue books or accessing ebooks this summer. The 2018 2019 yearbooks are here. If you ordered one, please stop by the bookstore to pick it up. If you did not order one and would like one, there are a limited number of extra books for $35. First come, first served. I highly recommend buying one though, and of course, checking out my senior quote. It's a good one about the hardships of being a mother in high school. Also, there will be a cross country meeting for anyone interested in participating next fall. The meeting will be Wednesday, May 15th at 2.50 p.m. in room 403. Mr. Potts Peary 3 class should take their laptops and study materials and meet in room 305. AP exams continue today and run until Thursday. All AP exams will take place in rooms 303 and 305. Students taking morning exams should report to their exam room at 7.30 a.m. Afternoon exams should report to test rooms at 11.30. All AP students should have signed up for Remind. Please see your AP teacher, Mrs. Hickson, if you have questions. Congratulations to the following crash members who won officer positions for the upcoming year. For President, Janet Martinez, Vice President, Odalise Campos, Community Involvement Coordinator, Eduardo Garcia Mora, and for Treasurer, Karina Santos. Well, that's it for your daily announcements on May 13, 2019. And I know you all would await my return to the, host, to the throne of hosts on Wednesday as I just will not be able to make it back here tomorrow due to a little something called calculus AP testing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more updates on school news and events.